What's going on guys? It's Chris and uh, this is my personal vlog for the week. Um, I'm just, uh, I'm sitting here kind of, I, I, uh, I got a flash burn at work today. Um, I actually went in and I'm helping a buddy out at one of his jobs. He's a industrial welder. Um, and uh, we're doing some pipeline and I don't know sometimes you don't even realize it you know when you're around welding and uh, I got a flash burn in my eye so I'm a little my daughter patched me up <laughs> you know she's uh, she's really good about shit like that so uh, I'm just laying here I'm trying to go through some videos online and uh, um, while I was at work today, I heard about that, uh, shooting. Um, heart goes out to anyone that was affected by that. Uh, I remember during the hurricane, um, I was, uh, a couple times I was able to power up the computer and get online and see what was going on. I found that on YouTube, you know, uh, it, the mentality is, if it's not in my backyard, it doesn't matter type thing, I think. I don't know. Um, also, a lot of YouTubers don't do very much personal stuff. There's only a handful of them that do. So, uh, but, uh, you know, my heart goes out to anyone that was affected by that shooting. Um, it's been a crazy week for me. Haven't really been able to do as much um, work as I wanted to. I got a couple of videos um, that I've started editing. Um, but I haven't really been able to sit down and uh, put the commentary to them. Um, it, like I said, crazy week. Uh, I think we're 11 days away from uh, Christmas. Um, I haven't really got well, I got ash. <laughs> I probably ashed on myself. Oh well. Um, Eleven days away from Christmas. Uh, haven't been able to go do very much Christmas shopping. Um, I only just put up my tree uh, three, four days ago. I'm still putting ornaments on it, walking past it, and putting an ornament here and putting an ornament there. Um, my old lady, she's been working crazy, non-stop, like to the point of exhaustion. So I haven't really been uh, bothering her or trying to get her to do anything. My daughter's been great, man. I mean, uh, you know, for an 11 year old, she, she patched me up tonight. I uh, explained to her how to put french fries on a pan and put it in the oven. And, you know, and she kind of took control. I was just pointing and telling her what to do, and she did it, and uh, she's great. Um, what else? Uh, I haven't done any Christmas shopping. I'm going to try to get that done this weekend. Um, uh, you know, running your own business is tough. Um, so many different parts to it, you know. You got to, not only you got to produce, and you got to be there and do the work, and you gotta worry about getting the jobs and <coughs> doing the paperwork in the end, and and then there's always getting the money. And and when you're working, 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 you know, in the back of your mind, you think, all right, this money, it's money in the bank, you know. Um, and, but you also have to go out and get the money. Um, I got people that owe me tens of thousands of dollars. Um, that I have to chase, you know, a lot of my jobs are big jobs and big payouts and, uh, and you got to chase people. And it's funny because, um, I did a big job for a, uh, it's a chain liquor store up here on the East Coast. I'm not going to name it. Um, but, uh, the contractor that subbed me into the job. It was a big crew, you know, probably I think it was about 10 of us. And 
we were tiling in there, you know, between all our stores, we probably put down about 50,000 square feet of tile, easily. Um, and uh, the last of the jobs was almost, uh, it was just a little bit, oh no, it was more, it was just a little, couple months past two years ago, and uh, the last payout, the contractor himself uh, got screwed on. He got beat on it. And uh, I didn't get paid for that particular job, too. It was a, you know, it was about two weeks salary for me. And, uh, you know, I mean, my belief is when you're running a job, if something comes down, you get, you, I always took the hit. My first thing was, my guys always got paid. Um, if it was their last day on the job, they went home with a paycheck. Because they got families, they have to feed. They got mouths, they have to feed. And, uh, you know, it, 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 this is when you're the boss. It all comes down on your shoulders, and uh, and something happens. It you can't let that affect your workers' lives because the next time you need them there, you know uh, they're not going to be so quick to come and help you if <laughs> you know you fuck around with paying them. Um, so. Uh, contractor got hit, you know, the whole recession happened, uh, and needless to say, a lot of people didn't get paid, and I didn't get paid, I lost, you know, it wasn't a, 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 a big hit to me, but, you know, any hit when it's your own business sucks, you know, because usually you're counting on that money um, for something, that money's already spent. So, um, yeah, so about two years ago, a little over two years ago, that happened. And, uh, you know, one thing I have to say is that he was good. He always kept up with me. You know, he called me. Uh, well, I'd call him most of the time. But a lot of the times that he called me, you know, every two, three weeks and say, hey, you know, this situation, I'm still working on trying to get back on my feet. And, uh, I, I'm, you know, I'm not telling you I'm not going to pay you. I just need time. And, uh, and I've been working, and he hasn't. So, you know, when he says something like that, I'd be like, yeah, man, you know, it's cool. Just keep in touch with me. Let me know what's going on. That's all I ask, you know. And when the day comes around that you have the money, you know what? You give it to me then. And, uh, and, you know, I'm not a religious man, but I do believe that what goes around comes around. So, right now, I got bigger fish to fry. You know, I got people that owe me, really, that owe me $10,000 or more. You know, and this guy doesn't owe me something like that. You know, it's a couple grand, but it's not big money. And uh, so uh, I'm having a little trouble getting money out of them. And all of a sudden, just out of the blue today, you know, I seen they called me while I was at work. And uh, where I was working today, I was working in a, it was actually a government-run facility. So I wasn't allowed to be on a cell phone or anything. You can't be on a phone. You can't have a camera with your... It's just stupid shit. So anyhow, um, I seen that he called during the day. So I got home and I was chilling with Jasmine. I called him back. I said, yo, what's going on? And he's like, uh, you know, uh, you know I, I haven't been working, but I did work on this one job, you know, that I got, you know, it came out of the hurricane, it was some repair work from this hurricane, he said, you know, I got paid, I can't give you everything, but, you know, I always told you when I did get something, you know, 
you know, I, I try and, you know, make everything right. I'm like, yeah, all right, you know. He's like, uh, you know, Christmas coming up, and, uh, and I, you know, I want to get my family some gifts, but I know you could use some money, too. And uh, he's like, uh, you know, he's being around Bush a little bit. He's like, can I give you three quarters of what I owe you, and then we'll call it even? And, you know, I'm like, I've already waited two years. Um, I've chased him for two years. The shit's always been in the back of my mind for two years. It's always been in the back of his mind for two years. You know, it's a burden on both our shoulders a little bit. You know, and it's, I've always been close with the family. It's a big family, a big Italian family, brothers. Um, and I've always been, they've always treated me like a brother. You know, and we've always had good blood between us, so. And, uh, and just the fact that he called me, and the way he presented himself, the way he presented the whole thing to him, I said, you know what, man? A lot of other people could, would have easily turned around and said, fuck you, I didn't get paid, I'm not paying you. And, uh, you know, he didn't do that. I thought that was real cool. And I said that to him. I said, you know, you you always been fair to me. You know, you always told me what's going on. And uh, that's real cool. You know what? It's a deal. We'll do that. So, he gave me cash money. And plus it's cash. <laughs> so, he gave me cash. I could go out and I could go Christmas shopping tomorrow. You know, and uh, he still has some money. He could go out and go to Christmas shopping tomorrow, and uh, and that's my life. Um, that's my personal vlog for the night. I don't know what you got out of that, um, uh, uh, but yeah, that's kind of what the holidays are about, you know. Um, in a nutshell, if you could read deep into it. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, plus I kind of been sick, my, and my family's been under the weather. My daughter's been was sick last week, um, and I'm with her all the time. You know, she's she's my little partner in crime. I'm with her all the time. So when she was sick, I've been battling it, but I've also been working and doing everything too. I haven't really let it affect me where she was out of school for two days and and uh, she you know when you're a little kid being sick really hits you hard you know as you get older <laughs> being sick is uh, not a luxury so um, yeah, I've been a little bit under the weather and uh, I've been going to sleep a lot earlier so I haven't really been able to do a even last night I was going to go I was going to do an upload for my clan um, update and uh, I put on one YouTube video. I sat there and watched it. I don't even remember how it ended. I fell asleep. I woke up about 5, five o'clock this morning. And uh, I was like, oh, man, I didn't even do my upload because I normally do uploads overnight. So I uploaded that shit during the day while I was at work, you know. You got to take advantage of uploading when you're not online and stuff. So that's it, man. That's my uh, that's my personal vlog for the week. Um, I'm not gonna do these every week, but uh, I don't know for some reason laying here I just uh, I was just flipping to and there is one commentator that I actually um, did mention that shooting, uh, you know, and uh, and I thought it was cool because like I said, you know. Uh, and again, in the YouTube world, it's kind of like, uh, it's, it's not my back. Even I remember during the tsunami and, uh, you know, there's certain things, you know, certain events that happen in the world. And, you know, I think to myself, you know, it's funny how no one ever talks about these things on YouTube, you know. And uh, I don't know if people think maybe it's just not relevant. But, you know what, I'm human. 
and the people that that affected are human and I guess they just want I guess if it was me in their shoes they just want to know that other people acknowledge their loss you know what see you in the next video peace love you subscribe uh no comment please then if you want subscribe like all right peace out again i gotta hurry off to work same shit because i got a job different day check it Every day I punch a clock, I wanna punch a clock Spend my lunch to talk my sucking thoughts Of how I wanna duck my boss into a bowl of haagen The knock is jaw with other phones and shocking off before I'm clocking off Different days, same shit Everybody rock with a big chip, hot like an it with Motherfuckers wanna cock clock, let's fix a guy Quick, gotta focus on my rig Cause the landlord's on my tip And my baby's in the crib with the future looking glib But I'm an MC, not an employee Cause the ploy against me is a ploy against he When the earnings start to drop like the needle or the bee Cut and run so they can land they pop